basically in the previous sessions we have talked about uh, that is the how we are going to develop uh, that leadership with the getting work done from the team members then the recipes for the team effectiveness recipes for the models for these uh, effective and uh, finally we have reached to this uh, particular concept uh, that is the leadership is nothing but it is the skills for developing others uh, the earlier all sessions have talked about that whenever we are talking about the team effectiveness we are talking about uh, how we can develop uh, our people those who are working with us so uh, now now when we are talking about uh, the leaderless teams when we are talking about the empowerment when we are talking about uh, uh, that is the team building team effectiveness and all are one there is nothing like that a one is special and uh, others are different then definitely we have to also learn how we can develop that particular skill so that we can develop our team lead members so therefore it is about the developing the others then the what are the um, uh, theoretical support as a principles of developing others develop leadership skills in three others development requirements develop these uh, five skills to develop others uh, according to the four best study is concerned six is for the guiding behavior the four recipes of the developing others uh, and then as usual we will be discussing the case study research papers and the book recommendations uh, with the references are there now whenever we we want to develop the others uh, and uh, we have talked about that is the always know your team members that is the how you are uh, uh, the identifying your team members uh, with their strengths weaknesses with their personal cheese their capabilities their ability their skills their knowledge and therefore then when you know your team members uh, then they definitely in that case uh, they you will be able to manage the uh, the whatever the challenge is there whatever the uh, biggest challenge is there uh, that you will be able to match once you understand to develop the people right so it is a uh, helping current employees learn new skills uh, now now here i will also like to mention that whenever we are talking about the learning the new skills are concerned that is the what new skills are there please uh, always refer uh, the different forums for example the world economic forum is concerned the industrial reports are concerned uh, asian businesses are concerned or the european business is concerned and therefore in that case identify to do, before you develop your team members uh, uh, the leader uh, that uh, not to repeat that is your visionary and therefore you know for example uh, 2025 then the 2030 then 2050 so india is having uh, these all documents the vision 2025 2020 2030 and 2050 is there so what will be the new skills are there a leader should be able to understand that whatever these uh, national wise when we are talk about the global now global global means that is a big global remaining local so then in that case what will be the new skills will be there when we are combining all these aspects then definitely in that case uh, we will be able to develop uh, uh, this uh, uh, our uh, uh, the team members uh, for meeting the future challenges or concerns uh, related to this uh, now i will talk about these uh, uh, the, the theoretical aspects that is uh, principles uh, of developing others so when the people experience maximum development under certain conditions uh, that is the uh, when there is a felt need when encouraged by someone respected when personal plans move from general goals to the specific actions moving from a condition of lower to higher self esteem when moving from the external to internal commitment is concerned now it is always important uh, that is the matching the need right uh, we we have talked a lot about uh, motivation we have talked about uh, uh, the job descriptions we have talk about uh, the uh, work organization fit culture so therefore whenever there is a 
need has been felt right. So, then of course, in that case you have to identify and when you encourage by someone I mean the respected. Uh, now, now somebody comes to you and say no you are expert in this. I would like to give a very routine example that is uh, whenever we go to any particular shop or the vehicle repair uh, garage and therefore, when, when we talk to that particular skilled person or that particular sales person that is the you know you last time you have given the very good service. So, that is why I have come again. So, that is about because they are also your team members. You have to get the lot of work done whether at the domestic front or at the professional front is there. So, you know your team is there. Now, here I would also like to mention that is the however, uh, we talk about the employees and team forming and the team members and organization context. But here I would like to mention you that is in our daily life also we have to also consider that is the who are our team members are there. So, someone who has helped us in delivering our uh, uh, the duties especially and of course, the rights also then they are our team members and therefore, always please see that is the we, we, we respect them and we take care of them and whenever there is a need is felt and they, those who have uh, stood uh, uh, with us then definitely they are they, they are our team members are there. Now, when we talk in the professional context, so then organizational conditions that is conducive to growth uh, will be there if basic respect for the worth and dignity of all is there, individual differences are recognized eh, and a variety of learning experiences are provided and we understand that is the yes uh, what can and what cannot. Each person is addressed at his uh, her level of development and help to grow to the fuller potential is there. Uh, we, we talk about the potential appraisal and the leader should not be only for the purpose of this the performance appraisal because the performance appraisal is uh, always about uh, the bossism about it is the yes how you have performed. But when we are talking about the concept of developing others so naturally we full extent full extent the potential identification of the potential. There are number of examples uh, where uh, the, 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 the formal managers have said that is uh, this employee is good for nothing and then the CEO he is interacted giving the opportunity transfer the sections and that person has done the wonderful jobs are there number of case studies you will find. So, what was that? And that was that is the that the manager who is a subordinate where the he was having the perception is good for nothing that has done the miracle in the with the another manager is there. So, that in this case that is the professional learning that is becoming a very very important. Now, whenever we uh, the another principle is to uh, in developing others is a uh, have a uh, respectful attitude is there. So, uh, naturally uh, whenever the whenever somebody wants to uh, to achieve something then definitely we, we have to see that is the uh, we, we, we give that opportunity. So, how we develop the person that is the one who is desires to achieve something and we give the opportunities. Uh, so, then in that case definitely that person will be uh, always be you remaining your team member because the uh, and he will never forget that whatever the skills he has developed uh, and whatever he has achieved uh, that has been provided by that particular leader is there. Now, uh, we, with, with these exercises what we do? Oh, that is the we, we increase the self esteem enhance the self esteem and then uh, therefore, uh, uh, how we, we do that that is one on one coaching is done formal education is done professional conferences are there on the job learnings are there. In addition to this I would also like to say that is the always give them opportunity which is they are not expected because the way and that will be the diversified from the their routine work. So, therefore, in that case uh, that uh, many times I have found that is the people were not aware about that what the uh, miracles they can do and therefore, in uh, now these all are the formal processes are there formal education professional conferences on the job learning 
is there. But when we give an opportunity at the national and international level, then, then we find that is yes, the person has explored the different areas. So, these are sabbaticals keep leaders fresh and motivated. So, therefore, as I was saying about the international level, national level, when you are giving them different opportunities and then they go on the sabbatical leave and then, then they develop. Uh, now, a, a very simple example I would like to give uh, that is the assignments, the assign research assignments is there, teaching assignments are there and therefore, in that case even one may not be knowing that is where he is good. He might be good in teaching assignment, he might be good in the research assignments, he might be good in the uh, projects, he might be good into the industry. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, that where the person is uh, strong right that is the potential that leader only can identify and then develop that particular person in that area. So, uh, what the, uh, the leadership skills uh, that do you need most to develop the others is there that is the, the leader should inspiring and uh, we have talked about that is the inspirational leadership is there, display the high integrity and honesty to uh, then the solves the problem, the drives for the results is there, communicates powerfully collaborate and promote, uh, builds relationships, uh, uh, displays technical professional expertise, the strategic perspective, develop others, takes initiatives, innovates, champions change, uh, connects the group on the outside world, establishes the stretch goals and practice and self development is there. Now, here I would like to talk about the building champions, building champions employees. Uh, now, see in every organization there are uh, uh, certain mentors and those mentors are known. Anybody who has worked during what happens you know, in many organizations during the orientation program, the batch is sent for the training under these uh, champions uh, and therefore, what they do uh, they buy through their, uh, uh, their mentorship programs and they, they develop them and therefore, they, they make the champions. So, anybody who has worked under that particular leader, then he, he will be champion, right. So, therefore, that confidence, that uh, image, how that is built and that is by the, uh, these all these supportive practices uh, which have been mentioned is exercise that particular mentor. Whenever the mentor will be having um, these encouraging practices, inspirational practices, transformational practices and there you see there is a percentage and all has been given that is how much weightage has been given. Uh, it, it might be the culture specific that I understand, but yes, but the dimensions are important. So, these are the you know, developed leadership sk uh, skills uh, uh, what is required basically. So, uh, the leader should be able to design at the standard development process, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, it, it a very good example analogy has been given, it is forest tour. So, unless until there or not the three legs will be there, right. So, do not move forward in, uh, so un, unless and until uh, that the uh, all these uh, support has not been provided. So, a standard development process uh, is to be designed, support a leader who prioritizes the development, a candidate committed to the development is there. So, do not forget uh, 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 in this particular course, I have also talked about uh, the followers satisfaction, the followers roles, followers responsibilities the, the and uh, whenever we talk about uh, Shri Krishna Arjun, Chanakya Chandra group, uh, uh, then Dev Dronacharya Eklavya, in all the cases it was the candidates commitment is there, right. And that is why you find that is the leader is leader. He is uh, known for his leadership, his, his ability, skills and qualities, but uh, the, uh, the, the team building will be there when the, the candidates commitment is also there uh, and uh, further development is there. Now, you want to develop a particular candidate and then, then, then the candidates commitment if it is not there, then it will be difficult for a leader. Right. So, then who will be the Arjun, who will be the Chandragupta, who is having the very high commitment and once the commitment is there towards the leader uh, and the leader is having the developmental process, uh, practices and uh, the, uh, then definitely uh, the de leader will be able to develop his uh, team members. Now, in this uh, the, uh, the develop leadership skills, uh, the first is required that is the, the development process, right. And as, as uh, we were talking about that initial discussion about the developmental goals is there. Leader and a candidate, their mentor and mentee or leader and follower 
employer employee they in the beginning itself they should be very clear their developmental goals and the transparency has to be there otherwise what will happen the leader will waste the time and candidate will also waste the time and the end of the result there will be the zero so therefore finding opportunities in which that person can learn and grow and therefore leader should ask uh, the follower whether are you interested uh, in which uh, vertical uh, in organizations if you want to develop and therefore i always say there is a given opportunity to choose the favorite vertical right and so then then he will choose the, that his favorite vertical and then you see he will do the excellence so these uh, 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 in uh, uh, when we are giving in opportunities that personalized development plan that in the beginning the interaction between this leader and the follower right that will create the personalized development plan is there so that standard development process should be designed with the at the mutual accepted terms and conditions are to be there so setting up the systems to hold the employee accountable now now naturally the process you will start so then you you have to also create a place in the organization structure scheduling follow up meetings with the employee is there and um, that's why now now you see in many organizations successfully has done mentor mentee program and they have done this uh, successfully it is because they were having the frequent meetings and whenever there is a meeting there is a input process and output the feedback will be there so therefore that development pro that process that uh, that has been designed once the development process has been designed then leaders support is required a supported leader who prioritizes the development so he is committed to the process of developing others that is a, uh, th that is also necessary so many many bosses not necessarily leaders not necessarily mentors because uh, many bosses are uh, so low self confidence that is they if they they think that is if i will develop my subordinate my, my subordinate will become the boss tomorrow so therefore in the ended case uh, uh, but this type of the false notion the competent uh, leaders do not have so help your employee select relevant interesting learning opportunities to stay committed to the process the development process uh, which has been uh, com uh, mutually committed then then that that has to be continue be a good example by working on your own development Uh, stay in regular communication with the employee about development assignments uh, give him or her developmental resources and remove the barriers to improvement is there now now this is the the supportive leader and um, uh, i i I'll always say and you also know that is unless and until if your equipments are not enough competent you you cannot give the competent to output so what are your instruments your instruments are your resources what are your resources main machine material money method minutes whatever the you require suppose you require technological support then the then the leader should give the technological support sometimes the manpower is required uh, then the manpower is to be given sometimes it is it is the uh, the uh, supporting material is required that supporting material has been given so therefore in that case uh, the leader support leader should uh, uh, able to manage the resources and i i feel very happy that is the uh, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, the successful leaders uh, so then all the successful leaders uh, they they personally took interest uh, to provide their resources uh, to their followers now that is the uh, in a candidate committed to the development now th this is the very very important part you see any process will be incomplete uh, if uh, uh, the per it is one sided right so it is required from the two sided and that we understood in the team building process also so even your best efforts can only have their intended effects if a candidate is committed to the process is there and good candidate generally begin as one of the two types already interested easily motivated is there so therefore some some followers right the team members they already so much motivated that is they know where is the goal where is the vision what they want to achieve and they will achieve it some sometimes you find that is the the, the employee has joined but uh, he is not that motivated but he can be easily motivated and th that's why the some employees can become excited about the developing if you explain them that is what is the future is so it is not uh, the alice in the wonderland and you are taking the journey journey of that wonderland and when then the alice becomes very happy because uh, she gets that the butterflies are there right so therefore similarly at our in our profession when we when we start our journey so then we find there there is a lot of factors to motivate us as a academician or as an industrialist is there so remember 
that everyone builds their skill just one step at a time. Patience is therefore essential for leadership and developing others. Now, the leaders, is, what is the problem with the leaders? Many times they do not have time and therefore they do not, uh, uh, cannot spare uh, that is to develop others. Mm, I would like to give you the examples. Uh, most of the my students, when they join the organization as a trainee, uh, management trainee, and the, the, the second day they uh, telephone me and say, Sir, here is nothing like a training, they are asking me directly deliver the task. So, the days have gone, dear friends, the des whatever your designation is there, but it is expected that is uh, you will deliver the task is there. If this is the situation, then what is that? That is the you you are supposed to be well equipped uh, before uh, even you uh, try to uh, learn something is there. And therefore, in that case, uh, like you see, uh, we, we, we give these uh, MBA students, uh, uh, these uh, industry exposure, those who are freshers, that is uh, do the live projects. And therefore, in that case, uh, they get these uh, uh, opportunity to interact with the industries uh, for the two years. And then therefore, uh, they understand it is not only the summer training or the uh, industry projects. In addition to that, their live projects are giving them opportunity. And therefore, uh, but so it, it is important that is the leader gives them that is the learning opportunities and that is required the patience is there. And then, then he will be able to develop. In, in uh, then uh, similarly the Forbes has done the study and therefore uh, uh, they, they have also come out uh, with, with these uh, five skills that is the yes, uh, uh, develop, uh, if we develop these five skills uh, in others then definitely they will be the successful leaders will be there, they will be able to work with others, they will be create a, an, a, an learning organization and a successful organization. So, it is the uh, business leader you need to motivate uh, that is the uh, which enable you to view as a leadership material and uh, help you to eventually to rise a leadership position is there right. So, um, uh, and all theories we have talked about. Uh, I am sure that you will not be having the question whether it is a hereditary or uh, it is a contingency theory or it is a situational theory. So, therefore, we, we, we have talked about that we, we develop leaders right and therefore, uh, uh, that the creativity the essential essential uh, uh, is the according to the LinkedIn learning 2020 workplace learning report it is a creativity is one of the top skills or employees need and that is why I tell you now the department industries are started having the department of design thinking. Nobody has uh, thought of earlier it was a part of uh, the academic only, but now the industries are also working on the de de uh, design thinking processes there and that is about the, that is actually the creativity and research and nothing is business is steady. So, therefore, it is keep on changing and leaders must adopt and execute a new plan is there. Mm. Now, you see that is the uh, develop a, uh, a, a vision plan. Hmm? So, so uh, and normally you see this this is given to the very young uh, uh, employees and especially the trainees employees their first assignment is there learn the organization and give propose a development plan for this organization. Why? Because the, the, they are fresh. So, therefore, they have the def different beautiful ideas and whenever those ideas and then there is no barrier in their mind that this will work or this will not work. And so, therefore, in that case uh, in development giving this opportunity is really an ex uh, excellent uh, uh, opportunity for the learners. Second is the team mindset is there. Uh, they need everyone uh, in uh, but creativity is there, but creativity should not be only theoretical. It should not be only document. A document is a vision document is prepared. No, that is required a team mindset. That is the everyone knows their position and knows that ultimately their role is to support other position working together. And in the last few years, we have heard a lot about brand you and UBU. Right. And therefore, in there are many organizations, uh, uh, whether it is manufacturing organizations or the service organizations and whether it is a startup specially and then they find that is a UVU. So, therefore, but to be viewed as a leader, you need to be seen first as a team player and a team supporter is there. Ultimately, understand that is if you believe that I alone, only I, then definitely you cannot, you can never be a leader. It is always that is the we, 
they, and we have discussed a lot about these things earlier. Now, business acumen is there. That is the, as an understanding of the how business works in general and how your business works in particular. And you see that that, that is the experience. So, when we talk about the Dhirubhai Ambani right as a business acumen. So, therefore, it is not that is there, it is to be learned from somewhere. It is the, they, they understand that their business, that is what is a business is. So, here example is given, uh, uh, customer service is dependent on the sales, uh, which is dependent on marketing, which is dependent on product development and so on. So, therefore, there are different departments are there and they, then, but the leader, leader is, is a coordinator also. And therefore, he understand what sales will do need, what marketing will need, what production will need, what finance will need, what HR and before asking, now, now the beauty of the leader is what? It is not that is a, that he is reading the manual and understanding the uh, functioning of the different departments. No, he, he knows in this business where will be the requirement and where the support will be required and now this time who is to be supported. So, sometimes the finance is to be supported, sometimes marketing is to be supported, sometimes production is to be supported and but that is will be the vision of the leader that is this is the condition and uh, uh, I will like to connect uh, in developing skills of others the Dr. Kalam and then here he, he, he was knowing in the advance that is the what my scientists will be uh, re having the requirement. Right? And there are number of uh, uh, scientists have written uh, about Kalam that is the uh, we do not know how he was knowing in advance what is our need is there and what we will be uh, having this uh, 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 the particular skills to be developed. So, that was the vision. Now, at an external perspective means to have a wide range of knowledge. It is a rainbow, it is not the one color is the whip guire, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. So, therefore, many individuals are be expert in their field, but they are having the different colors and uh, completely understand more than just their role. So, it is not that is I am the, I, I like only yellow color, I like only the blue color. No, it is I, I am the rainbow, I am the umbrella, right. And therefore, in that case, they are conversant in their industry and they understand its competitors, its challenges, it, these are different colors, you see these are different colors of the life, right. So, some are the blacks, some are the whites, right. So, the new breakthrough or thoughts in the pipeline is there, as well as the other industries and the external factors are there and they will decide about that is the how these skills are to be developed. The communication. And we have discussed in detail uh, in our previous uh, sessions that is about this uh, communication, that is the how this communication uh, uh, that, that plays a role in developing others, trust, respect, understanding, uh, assignments, delegation, right. So, the um, verbal, non-verbal, meeting, a uh, simple example I would like to give of the shake hand or the, uh, or the greetings right saying the good morning and therefore that you know that is the when the boss says the good morning and the, then that morning really becomes good. So, that is the communication is important. Now, here we will talk about the six is for the guiding behavior is there uh, and uh, the uh, first is the coaching is there. Now, when we want to develop others first your role as a coach and therefore, uh, uh, your goal is clear you are focusing on that uh, uh, the road map where you want to take your uh, subordinate, balance of reason and emotions are there. Now, now you see it is the question of not only a brain, it is a question of brain, heart both and therefore, in that case it is the emotions are to be connected for the, develop, uh, the development plan and there will be the informal and the frequent will be there. So, when, when we talk about no, water cooler talk, so water cooler talks are the informal gathering, it is not just for chit chatting, it is not a vestige of time, it is a building relationship. So, clear goals and processes are there and linked to the common context and understood specific and written, uh, shared of interest to us both systematic and the universals are there. Third is we, we talk about the leadership and the conflict management also. So, confrontation is natural. Both are personalities, intellectual personalities are there. So, naturally, they will have to be the con confrontation is to be there. And uh, then, uh, but that uh, confrontation, what impacts it cre creates on you? No, it is a corrective, it is functional, it is not dysfunctional. So, no speculation on your part as a motivation is concerned. So, your motivation will not be uh, down, 
you are not motivating others even you are confronting confronting new ideas confronting value addition and therefore many is the confrontation good yes it is good na daag acche hain so when it is daag acche hain when we are having the solutions for that and definitely when we are serving others and therefore when the society is getting benefit and when there are the difference of opinions but yes we learn from each other so confrontation is better uh, it is a constructive confrontation i would like to say capability is there skills in place right and uh, nothing can be compensated other than the capability i always talk about uh, this thing that is the yes competency and convenience is there Compa capability develops your competency dear friends in developing others yes we have to develop as a good human being also there is nothing uh, uh, ignoring the hr dimensions but first and foremost is that is the ability to perform and deliver the task and therefore that is a capability is there now by doing all this what will be the consequences and consequences will be the satisfaction so the, the man, management of satisfaction may be through rewards or sanctions or consistency is there but ultimately it is the creation of happiness at workplace job satisfaction and um, the last to see is uh, similar view of the end games or success shared values right shared values uh, you see itself is a uh, um, big process in the organization and in during from the orientation program it is started when the organizational values are shared with the others and then like team building values we respect here others so your communication has to be like this so that is a shared value is there we develop these are uh, respect brotherhood culture is there we have the expectations but the expectation not at the cost of the depression expectations at the cost of the op op openness so therefore in that case uh, these uh, all comprehensive um, there will be the co uh, collective will be there uh, um, uh, both give and receive feedback will be there and it 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 it, it is a always a, a vicious circle right and therefore in that case uh, you initiate you develop that particular leader again he will initiate then again he will develop somebody and like this uh, uh, that uh, uh, it will be al always the uh, give and uh, receive the feedback will be a continuous journey will be there now the four recipes of the developing others is uh, leader skills at uh, performance management uh, and uh, Uh, then these uh, involvement of team members uh, is there the four uh, so therefore in, in, in that we have talked in the during the team uh, uh, building also that is uh, how we are involving the others is there and uh, therefore in in that case for effective team building when we are making the development the the, the uh, if you remember in earlier session i have talked about uh, there is a appreciation and therefore when you are talking about the developing others please uh, uh, don't take the credit for yourself when you are interacting with your boss many people uh, they always uh, meet the boss with their teams so therefore in that case what is that that is appreciation it is not me it is we and therefore when leaders are more effective at recognition their employees for more positive and then in that case they will getting that is a great deal of efforts uh, will be always there um we talk about we talked about the personality and leadership and we talk about the personality job fit also and always try whenever you want to develop somebody it, it should not be the bulldozer so therefore make sure that is a job fits the person that is the uh, uh, some persons are good in some jobs some persons are good in another jobs so therefore please as a leader always finding a job that fits the person's ability is there in the organization uh, the uh, there is a open vistas so there is nothing like this that is uh, you are appointed for this particular job and you have to do the job and you do not know the job you resign no that we have not learned in this particular course dear friends we have learned in this course that is the how we have the collective efforts collective wisdom right and therefore the best managers help their team members so discover their genius no problem you might be have been appointed for a particular task but if you have the another potential yes organization is open for that to use your talent right 
So, this is all about uh, we leadership and team uh, effectiveness. Uh, so, this was the uh, last uh, session dear friends. So, I am sure uh, that is you might have enjoyed right and as usual you will find uh, it is the case study is there. Hmm? So, therefore, you are having the uh, 60 case studies almost uh, and uh, uh, minimum 60s and uh, then uh, min minimum 60 research papers uh, and uh, 60 books. Uh, uh, so, uh, this all uh, uh, this particular uh, the study material which uh, I am sure will help you uh, developing your uh, the uh, roadmap for success uh, as a effective leader and the team building is there. So, this is a leading uh, this research paper developing future leaders right. Uh, so, we are the academicians our job is to the every year to develop the new leaders right and that uh, journey is going on uh, um, uh, since my academic uh, uh, 26 years uh, right. So, that is a uh, develop the future leaders uh, and be the mentor successfully may not be in the academic institute, but may be in the industry also itself right. So, this is about this research paper talks about and this is the remarkable leadership is there unleashing your leadership, leadership potential one skill at a time and therefore, everyone is fit for the one skill is there make him your team member and give him the success is there. So, this book is talking about this these are the references as usual. So, you will find that is in our study material we in every session we are having the uh, number of references uh, which will be uh, taking you or the ahead uh, uh, for the whatever has been shared in the course and even after the course. So, uh, me with my team members uh, uh, Rahul Khurana and uh, Mohit Pawa, uh, Nilesh Kumar Tiwari uh, that is uh, uh, we thank you you to for joining this particular course that you have joined this course uh, and uh, hopefully we have fulfilled uh, uh, your uh, expectations right. So, again with the best wishes I will say Aap Sabhi Ko Shiv Ki Shakti, Meera Ki Bhakti, Ganesh Ki Siddhi, चाणक्य की बुद्धि शारदा का ज्ञान कर्ण का दान राम की मर्यादा और कुबेर की संपदा प्राप्त हो थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट